Hi, it's Tom at app19.com with a quick video on how to use navigation across the various screens in Apartment Auditor. Let's start off with a review of a figure that was presented in the Concepts and Overview video, namely the relationship between an apartment, rooms, features, and defects. So an apartment has rooms and spaces. A room and or space may contain features that you want to note. A feature may or may not have defects. So Apartment Auditor provides three different means for navigating its various screens. Method number one, which is the most obvious, is to use any of the buttons that are on the navigation bar at the bottom of every screen. If I hit the Start button here, that means I'm going to go in and start creating a new apartment. If I have a list item present, such as what we have here, we have My Apartment List, I can tap on any item in the list, and a context menu will appear, allowing me to select appropriate choices for that particular menu item. The last technique is to use on-screen or on-touch gestures. And the way that works is as follows. Let's start off with the home screen here. We're going to do a right to left swipe right on top of the apartment labeled Sample Apartment Near Starbucks. In doing that, I'm going to go to the default menu which is to add new rooms or edit existing rooms. If I then again do a right to left swipe on a room, in this case the bathroom master, item number three, that puts me into the menu which is the room feature menu. Again here, if I want to edit something about uh, one of the existing features like drywall, feature number one, a right to left swipe will drop me into what's in this case already been recorded and from here I can indicate for instance a new defect repair status. To exit I can hit the back button or I can do a left to right swipe to exit out. And I can do that on every screen to return back to where I was. Now if I want to add a new room I can either click the add room button on the bottom of the navigation bar or I can do a right to left swipe beneath the list as follows. In doing that, I'm now in the Add New Room menu item. I tap on the drop down, select Balcony, and I can proceed to add uh, details for this. Again, if I want to add a feature for the balcony, I have right to left swipe select a feature, oh, I don't know, let's see, a door handle or a door. We could indicate a defect for this door. Uh, let's say it's uh, cracked and then do a left to right swipe to store that value. And I can exit all the way back out to the main menu. And that's all there is to swiping. So let's take a look at screen navigation using on-screen gestures from a slightly different perspective. What you see in this figure is a high-level view of the various screens that will be invoked based upon swiping actions from the screens in Apartment Auditor. I'm going to zoom in to the screen that's on the far left here, which is the home screen, and then we'll go through the navigation chain. So here we are on the home screen. So if I swipe on an apartment in my list from the home screen, from right to left, that will take me to the default action for the apartment, which is to edit the rooms. And so that will take me to this screen, the Rooms and Spaces screen. Likewise, if I swipe on a room or space within this list, from right to left it will take me to the default action for a particular room which is to edit the features and defects that are in that room. So this takes us to the room feature summary screen. From this screen if I swipe on any item in this list for instance drywall then it's going to take me to the feature and defect 
screen for that particular item. Finally, if I make one last swipe from right to left, then I'm going to be taken to the help screen. Go back to the screen from whence I came. All I need to do is swipe from left to right. So swiping left to right on the help screen will take me back to the feature defect screen. Swiping left to right on the feature defect screen will take me back to the room feature screen. Swiping left to right on this screen will take me back to the room summary screen. And lastly, one more swipe will take me back to the home screen where all of the apartments are listed. Now, here's an important point. If I swipe below the list, then there's a different default action that will be invoked. And in the case of the apartment or the home screen, if I swipe below the list, the behavior that I'm going to see is you want to add a new apartment. So it's going to take me to the new apartment screen where I can add information about the apartment and the landlord. That's all there is to it. That's the, that's the overview of how gestures work within Apartment Auditor. Thanks for watching.